Welcome to the engineering measurements course. So in this course, we will try to demonstrate total titan experiments, which are basically from civil engineering domain. So in this lecture, we will perform our first experiment that is the sheep test of aggregate. So before going into actual performance of the experiment, let's get started with basic understanding of what is the sheep test means. So in, a, in any civil engineering constructions, either it may be highway construction or high or build high rise buildings, bridges, anything, we normally use the aggregate uh, extensively. So either it may be surfacing of roads or, or concrete slabs, concrete columns, everywhere we use this type of aggregates. So before using this type of aggregates in an engineering purpose, we have to understand the properties of the material. So in this experiment, we'll perform the shape test of aggregate. So aggregate are actually made up of stones. So, so basically igneous stones are broken into small pieces and the aggregates are formed. So this the surface of the aggregate may not be uniform because it is broken from the machines. So all the aggregates will have different shapes, size. So some type of particles are may not be useful for the engineering applications. So such two are if the particles are very flat in nature. So each particle will have three dimensions. So if the particle is very thin in nature, the aggregate is very thin, then the load when it when applied to that aggregate, the load may distribution may not be uniform. So in some cases, it will happen with the elongate particle also. So in that in that aggregate, few particle you will find it is very much long compared to other two dimensions. So each so total three dimensions are there in any particle. So one dimension is very long compared to other two. So that type of aggregate we call it elongated aggregate. So if the aggregate is very thin, we call it flat particle or we consider flakiness index for this type of particles whereas if the aggregate is very long then we find it out the elongation index so these two parameters are very much important to identify the shapes of a structure of a aggregate so if aggregate if again aggregate is very long then the loads may not be acting uniformly and to the aggregate also the surface area of aggregate also will increase so it will require more water more cement cement paste to cover the entire surface so this type of aggregates are not desirable in the civil engineering constructions. So if a particular type of aggregate has more number of flat particle and more number of elongated particle, then we should we should not use that type of particle. So in this experiment, we'll find it out how to calculate the flakiness in there, basically how to find out the, what is the percentage of flat particle and how, we need to find out how much is the percentage of elongated particle. So if, if any aggregate, if the percentage of flakiness, this type of material or this type of material is more than the 15% of the total aggregate, then we consider the type of aggregate we should not use for the construction purpose. So that's why before construction of using the aggregate, we should perform this experiment and we check whether the aggregate shape is below the 15%. That is flakiness and elongation index value is less than the 15%. So in this experiment, we will use this these four types of equipment first one is balance which can measure up to 10 30 kg weight of aggregate then we'll use sieves so sieves will have different dimensions so starting from you know 30 mm to 6.3 mm different types of sieve sets we need and this is the apparatus for me measuring the thickness or the flakiness index measurement and this apparatus is used for the finding out the elongation index so in the flakiness index basically we are finding out how thin the aggregate is so the by definition if uh, whose that least dimension that is thickness if it is less than the three-fifth of the mean dimension of the aggregate then we call it this is the flaky aggregate similar to that if uh, the aggregates largest dimension means the length is greater than the one fifth times the mean dimension of the aggregate then we call it it is an elongated aggregate so these two equi equipments are used to find it out the flakiness index as well as the elongation index so these are the few procedures we have to follow to find it out the shape test. First, we'll take the sample uh, and then we'll sieve the sample and then we'll, we'll pass each sample to the flakiness index apparatus as well as in the elongation index apparatus. And then we'll, we'll record the readings and find it out the flakiness index. So these are the observation table we'll use extensively. And then we'll, uh, we'll fill all these values and we'll find it out the what is the flakiness index as well as the elongation index. And at last, we'll publish our final outcome. How much is the uh, total flakiness index of that grade of aggregate? And at the end, what is the final outcome of the elongation index? So if these values are more than 15%, then we should not use this type of material for the construction purpose. So now get started with the actual lab experiments. 
now we are into civil engineering lab of equitec building so these are the equipments for this experiment these are the flexnex index then these are the elongation index measurement equipment then some aggregates for performing the shape test and we have the sets of c so basically these are the four uh, apparatus required for this experiment so these sieves are kept from higher to lower end so now we take 3 kg of sample aggregate sample and measure it with the balance and you, you can notice that all the sieves we have kept in a sequential manner so at the top we have the highest sieve that is 25 mm grade sieve and at the bottom we have 6.3 mm sieve so once we measure 3 kg of sample then we'll start sieving it So now oh, we are putting all the aggregates, 3 kg of aggregate at the top sieve which is 25 mm and then we start shaking the sieves so, so that all the aggregates will pass to, through the higher dimensions and it will go to and it will sieve at the bottom. So now you can see this is a 25 mm grid sieve, this is 20 mm so how much aggregates are retaining in each sieve that here it is shown. So in different sieve cases, sieve cases, different types of different weights of aggregates will be retained. So now let's take the 20 kg, 20 mm sieve where the aggregates are retained and then we'll start our flakiness index perform. So take one by one each aggregate and try to pass it into the, uh, in that portion that is 22 so here you can see there are many types of grids will be written so here this sample is 25 mm passing and 20 mm retained sieves so we will try to pass it into that hole and we will record total how many aggregate passed to that sieve and then we will again finally make what is the total weight passed through that sieve hole through that apparatus hole and then we will record that readings so corresponding to that column we will write that value and then also we will take what is the total weight retained in the 20 mm sieve so this is the total weight retained in the 20 mm sieve so now in each sieve we recorded two parameters one is how much aggregate passed through the apparatus and what is the total weight of the sample in that grade now this will be this process will be repeated for all other sieves so now we we have taken next sieve that is 20 mm passing and 16 mm retain so now we'll take one by one each sample and try to pass it into the flakiness index approximate holes appropriate holes so one by one sample will take and we'll try now again process will be same we'll measure the weight of how much is passing through the sieve passing through the apparatus and then what is the total weight and both the values will be recorded in a table so you can see these are the flakiness so these are thickness is very thin compared to other two dimensions that's why these aggregates are called flaky index so now to calculate flakiness index so we have how much is passing through the apparatus by the total weight into 100 percent so here we just demonstrated with only two values but in real case you have to demonstrate you have to do for all the sieve cases so here the flakiness index comes out to be 21.19 percent which is obviously more than 15 percent whichever we are considering so now we'll start our elongation index part so the process is very similar we have to see first samples and all and these are the tables so here again 16 uh, 25 mm passing to uh, 20 mm retain samples we are taking and this is our elongation index apparatus in the respective hole where it is mentioned the 20 mm retain and 25 mm passing in that respective hole only we will try to 
pass the sample and our main objective here will be how we can restrict the sample to pass so that is we will we are finding out which one is the longer dimension of a sample now you can see each sample one by one we are taking and we are trying to retain the sample so if it is not passing then we are keeping it in one side if it is passing then we are keeping it in the another side so those who are very long aggregate those won't pass into that hole so that will be recorded in the separate portion like that for all the samples we are doing one by one so once aggregates are retained in one side that we are taking measurement how much is the elongation that is long type of aggregate that will be recorded in a table and then also what is the total weight of the 25 mm passing and 20 mm re retained sieves that also will be taken so each sieve so we are taking two values one is how much is the passing and how much is the total weight in that sieve like that the process will be done for all the sieves like 20 mm passing 16 mm retained then 16 mm passing 12 mm 12.5 mm retained like that all the sieves will be will be done and the process is same our main objective here is how we can uh, find it out the largest dimension of the aggregate so aggregate should not pass here our main objective will be to retain the aggregate in this hole whereas in the flakiness index our main objective was to pass the pass the sample into the hole so once we find it out the longer aggregates find it uh, take the weight how much is the weight and then it will be recorded in a table so like that for all the samples this process will be done and then the elongation index will be measured so elongation index will be w1 plus w2 plus w3 by total amount of weight so which we have recorded here it is the value is so here you can see 0 0.23 plus 0 0.31 so both the sieves how much is the longer aggregate by is the total total weight of the aggregate so it comes out to be 65.5 percent so the, the elongation index for this type of aggregate is 65.5 percent so it is very huge so like that we can perform this experiment thank you